This is Ashridge Woods in Hertfordshire. And while it might not look very spectacular here, follow me. These bluebells have been in flower for three to four weeks now. If you follow the camera up here, you can see just how beautiful they are. Right up through there, there are acres and acres of English bluebells. Such is the popularity that the National Trust have had to stop people walking amongst them. But we can show you how you can propagate your own from your own stock. And like snowdrops, it's important that they're done in the green. Now, I'm here in the dark woods. I'm not here because I'm a weirdo. I'm here to show you something about bluebells. These are our own woods. It's very important that you use your own stock. But the ways of growing bluebells are very similar to those of snowdrops. You need to do them in the green or just when they've finished flowering and the foliage has died back. You can do them from seed. These are the seed heads. You can see the old plants here. And if you sow these seeds, they need to ripen a little bit. There's just three or four seeds in each, each pod. These are English bluebells. Anyway, you can sow them by seed. The thing is, if you put them in a seed tray, they'll come up like grass. Then you leave them for a couple of years and they'll come up the next year. It's quite a long-winded process, but it is a, an easier way of doing it if you want to bulk them up, or well, certainly cheaper. But, um, well, it takes about three to four years before you get a flowering plant. But if you have your own stock, you can spread them around. Now, the, the important thing to understand about bluebells is that they are very deep. And um, you will find them deep down in the ground. If you look here, I'm using a very long spade. You can use an ordinary spade, but you just have to be careful that you get right down. Now, this is going right the way in. It's about three inches longer than a normal. And you see that's coming up there, like that. And you can see. There. These plants are coming out. And some of them will fall away from the roots. What I also use are long pots. And you need to put these bulbs a long way down in the pot. Right the way down. Because they're a good six, nine inches deep. Really, all I'm doing is using the old seed heads as a, a way of seeing where the bulbs are likely to be. If you left it any longer, you wouldn't know where your bluebells were. I don't want them pulling anything out of the bowl. So there we are. That's how I do bluebells. And this will go out for sale next year. You cannot take them out of the wild. It's very important, though, that you plant them in deep pots. The reason why the National Trust have made paths through this is because this was all once covered in them. And you can see how people walking in here has eroded the ground. It used to be blue belts right from the edge of that, mate. Did they? Yeah. So when we were coming on the dog walk, yeah, it used to pass on the edge. Well, they used to go right over there, not unreliably told. So you can see why the need to protect what's left. Well, it's a lot. 
people do tend to like to walk, or did prefer to walk amongst them, and of course, buggers them up. So if you do plant them in your garden, don't walk on the twats. It's common sense really, isn't it? And here, as if to prove the point, we can see that the bluebells are remaining growing down the middle of the path. This whole path would have been covered with them. But now it's just a, a thin strip up the middle. And here the National Trust have closed paths because the paths are just tearing through the bluebells. We have to protect our natural heritage. And I'm not a great lover of institutions, far from it, but you know, I think the National Trust deserves support. Certainly in this. The gardens are a bit boring at times, a bit samey, but when they're doing things like this, it's fantastic. As I said, this is an English bluebell. Now, it's one of those strange things that we humans have. We, uh, we encourage people from different nations to live with each other and we live in a very multicultural society. However, when it comes to our native bluebell or our crayfish, we don't want the bluebell crossing with the Spanish one and we don't want the crayfish crossing with the American one. But human beings, that's all right. But we start petitions and things about bluebells and crayfish. Funny old life, isn't it? That's this saying, it's not so many people coming all the way around. And if that's not enough, just to prove the point, here you can see where the snowdrops were and where people have walked either side. What did I say? Snowdrops. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> There's something wrong with my brain. <laughs> Right, leave it in. <laughs>